happening, Aaron? Hey, man, you, I want to congratulate you on the awesome achievement that you had this weekend with showing the truck. Everybody seemed to have went crazy over your ride, man, and it was an absolute game buster, and it won over everybody. What is your secret, Aaron? What, what made you want to bring this bad boy to what we see today? I, mean, I just like doing uh, the smaller shows, helping my brother out, um, you know, his show. Mm -hmm. That was uh, one of the main reasons. Okay. Um, just being around good people, seeing old friends, making new friends, stuff like that. It's always, uh, always a pleasure meeting you know, new people, seeing old people. Um, my family, everybody's here, my mom and everything like that, my dad, yep. my grandma. Yep. Uh, they all came out, so it was just kind of a family thing. And when you say you came out, man, you came out with a vengeance. Tell us something about this beautiful KW you got behind you. Yeah, so it's a, it's a 2020, and actually, uh, Jonathan, I can't remember his last name. He's the one that actually built the truck okay. um, out in Connecticut. Okay. Um, he ended up selling it to um, Mascaro, Mascaro, and then... Um, Kind of see the truck, talk to um, the guy who's driving it, and um, kind of say, hey, you know, if you want to sell it, you should, you know, let us know. And yep. um, so I happened to be, so yeah, so I uh, sold the white truck and kind of put my own little stuff done to it, stacks and uh, battery tanks, stuff like that. Yep. Um, nothing too crazy, it still looks like the same truck, but it's a little bit of my twist to it. And what do you do with this? Because everybody's going to wonder, oh, he doesn't do anything with this truck. It's, it's a show truck. You work this every day, right? Yeah, so I run from uh, Wisconsin, haul cheese down to Miami every okay. week. And then uh, it's all imported exotic produce that's you know, shipped in from Honduras, or something like that. And okay. Then, uh, take that back up to Chicago. Tell us a little bit about that that beautiful reefer unit. Was, was this a, when you got this, was this a combination or did you add the trailer part to it? No, so the trailer, uh, we already had it. It was uh, actually, we originally got it. It was a uh, company out of Naples, F and G. It used to be yellow. Okay. Um, painted everything white, had the undercarriage with dark green, and that was kind of what we were planning on doing with the white truck. It had a uh, green frame and everything like that. So still the still same trailer, we just ended up painting everything green. Okay. And, uh, And what kind of what kind of sleeper is that? Is that um, that's the the Mercury, um, the new Mercury sleeper yeah, it's like that's a on there? Right? Mercury is, uh, yeah, I, I, I might mess it up. I think it's custom trucks out of Canada. Okay. The ones that uh, make the bone. It's, uh -huh. it's all stainless. So the Mercury's are all you know, stainless. So. And if Aaron don't mind, we're gonna take a look at it once we uh, get done with our interview and just look at um, how sharp he's got this uh, unit done on the inside. So Aaron, with everything that went on, how'd you like the show? I love it. I love that it's, uh, it's not a really a trophy show. It's a people's choice. Uh, we give a, a trophy away in memory of my dad, kind of yep. something yep. that we think he would have liked. And um, other than that, I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know how else to explain it. It's just nice that it's uh, kind of a family thing and we all get to hang out and you know, like that. So. so at this point, Aaron, I want to ask you, is it anybody you'd like to thank or show homage to? Okay. Uh, my family, uh, Nick, and he's been a huge help with everything, with building the truck, this one, the white one. Uh, I mean, it's been numerous times, midnight, three o'clock in the morning, where we're trying to do things. Uh, my family in general, you know, just kind of growing up with this, and kind of showing me the ropes. I mean, I never wanted nothing to do with trucking, to be honest. <laughs> I, I hated my dad being gone, and I mean, here I am doing the same thing. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, I guess that's about it. You know, my fiance, you know, she uh, puts up a lot you know, as far as being gone and yep. understanding as much as she can be. But with uh, the deal I got going on, it's it's nice to be able to, uh, to have a schedule. Yeah. You know, you know, where it's not gone for six weeks at a time, you know, on Thursday and Saturday uh, every week. So gotcha. that, uh, that helps out a lot as well. Yeah. Well, Aaron, I want to say thank you, man for being a part of Elegance on 18 Wheels Big Rig Spotlight. You killed the show. We got a ton of footage and we had a real good time shooting the family photos the other day. And man, I just want to say thank you in a thousand fold for giving us the opportunity to be part of your spotlight, man. Absolutely. Thanks.
so it but the honor is all ours sir we'll see you we're gonna walk around your truck and let the audience see just why you such a show stopper right. and once again Aaron, we've got aaron kimball elegance on 18 wheels big rig spotlight he was people's choice and we he killed it thanks aaron we'll talk to you in a little bit buddy